Okay, everyone, let's take a look at chapter 13, Analog Principles. The switches and digital circuits have only two operating states, open or closed, which provide binary signals, one or zero, high or low, and voltage or no voltage. Therefore, digital circuits are either fully on or fully off. In analog electrical circuits, the load, such as lights, motors, or valve actuators, can be in any operating condition, fully on, fully off, or anywhere in between. Variable frequency drives output analog signals to motors that change the speed of the motor and control the motor's speed, anywhere between minimum and maximum. Analog sensors are used to send signals that represent a changing pressure, temperature, or fluid level to a PLC. Digital output signals from PLCs are used to control the digital functions of variable frequency drives, and analog output signals are used to control the analog functions such as speed control of a motor by drives. There are various types of analog signals that are sent to analog PLCs such as 0 volts DC to 10 volts DC, 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps, 0 volts DC to 5 volts DC, negative 10 volts DC to 10 volts DC, 0 milliamps to 20 milliamps, and 1 volt DC to 5 volt DC. Analog input devices such as temperature sensors, pressure sensors, and flow sensors output voltage and current signals that must be within the range of the PLC's input section or module terminals. If the signals are not within a range, a converter is required. Conversion modules are used to take an analog input signal that is outside the terminal range of the PLC and convert it to a voltage or current signal that is within the range of the input section of the PLC. Proportional analog valves do not use the control signal from a PLC for power. An external power supply is needed to provide the power to move the valve based on the control signal provided. Proportional analog fluid valves can be connected directly to an analog PLC output terminal that supplies 0 volts to 10 volt DC or 4 milliamps to 20 milliamp signals with the fluid valve output proportional to the analog's input signal. Variable frequency drives and solid state relays or SSRs are used with analog output devices to accept analog signals and control the speed of a motor or control high amperages. The power formula P equals E times I can be used to determine the amount of power at the heating element based on the applied voltage and current. All right, everyone, that was it for that session. The next session will be chapter 14, analog device installation and PLC programming, and I'll see you over there.